Hello, this is Dr. Richard Chang from Shanghai, and I'd like to report to you one of the recent uh, video conferences we had with uh, Dr. Mao. Hello, this is Dr. Richard Chen from Shanghai, and I'd like to report to you one of the recent uh, video conferences we had with uh, Dr. Mao, uh, the chief of uh, emergency department, uh, emergency medicine department at Raging Hospital, Zhao Tong University in Shanghai, one of the major hospitals in China. And he also is a member of the, uh, on the expert panel on the coronavirus uh, infection the COVID-19 infection treatment team in Shanghai. He also co-authored the Shanghai uh, uh, expert consensus on the COVID-19 treatment. And in this conference, uh, other than Dr. Mao, we also uh, had the honor of having uh, uh, quite a few international doctors and experts uh, on the conference. Uh, these experts coming from uh, Japan, uh, US, uh, Algeria and um, a couple of other countries and of course here in China as well and uh, the uh, we wrote up a text uh, on the website for the detail I refer you to the uh, I will put it I will post the email link uh, in the public announcement under this and uh, but briefly during the conference Dr. Mao updated uh, uh, brief uh, briefed us on the experience. Basically, he and his team uh, treated about 50 cases of COVID-19 patients with high-dose vitamin C. And uh, the dosage of vitamin C used uh, averages about 10 to 20 grams. And uh, basically, if it's a moderate case, it's about 10 grams a day. Uh, IV drip over a course of eight to ten hours, and if it's uh, a little bit more severe critical case, they they may use twenty grams. Out of the fifty cases of uh, moderate to severe cases of COVID nineteen patients, no one died. They all recovered, and uh, Dr. Mao and his team observed. Uh, uh, imp a significant improvement with the uh, high dose vitamin C treatment. And although the final data is still being analyzed, and uh, uh, briefly they felt the uh, high dose IVC definitely helped the patients to recover faster. And the average hospital stay for these 50 patients uh, is about three to five days shorter than the average patients and average about 25 days hospital stay whereas the average for uh, all the patients uh, is about 30 days uh, keep in mind there's about 360 COVID-19 confirmed patients in Shanghai altogether and uh, this group uh, they treated about 50 of them so uh, there's uh, about uh, you know three to five days short uh, shorter hospital stay for the high dose vitamin C treatment group, and in particular, Dr. Mao uh, recorded a couple of cases. In one case, this patient was deteriorating rapidly. They, they primarily use uh, the uh, oxygenation index. Basically, it's a breathing uh, function. And so uh, Dr. Mao decided to give this patient a 50 milligram, which is 50,000, uh, I'm sorry, 50 grams of vitamin C, uh, which is 50,000 milligram bolus of extra vitamin C over a period of four hours. And Dr. Mao recorded that literally when they were pushing the vitamin C and the patient's uh, pulmonary status was improving uh, in real-time manner and uh, this patient eventually healed and uh, was discharged and uh, so uh, that's the story of uh, 
of this Dr. Mao and also Dr. Mao and another expert which I'm going to talk a little bit later uh, they one extra one, one other feature of COVID-19 infection was the hypercoagulability basically the easy to clog for the blood for, for the blood and uh, and that was one of the uh, main features. Uh, if that's detected, then they they would use heparin on top of vitamin C, and of course, in addition to other supportive measures. And uh, in a separate uh, uh, interview, I also had the opportunity to talk to Dr. Wang, Dr. Shen Wang. Uh, he is a uh, professor and expert of uh, critical care medicine of uh, Tongji University, the number 10 hospital in Shanghai. He is also a member of the expert panel of Shanghai. He essentially corroborated, corroborated the story that uh, Mao told and they knew each other and they've known each other about vitamin C use for a while. And uh, Dr. Wang basically highlighted, uh, highlighted on three extra uh, three points. One is that high dose vitamin C is effective and uh, helps uh, patients. And number two is also the hypercoagulability. This appears to be a significant portion of patients. Uh, Dr. Wang says among the critical and severe to critical cases, probably about 40% of those patients would show hypercoagulability. And in a, a milder case, basically moderate to milder, maybe about 15 to 20%. So you may want to watch out for that and detect uh, that and take proper measures. A third point that Dr. Wang mentioned, cautioned, is that uh, uh, you know, as uh, COVID-19 is highly uh, contagious, so the healthcare providers need to take extra precaution, as we all know, the prote uh, protective uh, uh, measure. And uh, these patients may deteriorate into uh, respiratory distress and uh, needing intubation, basically putting a tube into the, uh, into the lungs. And the, all these things take time. And also the doctors, nurses have to take a protective measure, gear up. This takes time. So he advises that we will need to a extra warning period, basically lower your threshold of uh, intubation index. And uh, you have high risk, uh, high, high index of, of, of danger. Basically, uh, you know, you don't want to wait until the normal uh, indications are met, then you start gearing up because you will lose roughly 10, 15, 20 minutes of gearing up time. So be prepared. And uh, so that's the essence of the interview. The message is that vitamin C and other measures do help. And uh, uh, COVID-19 is, uh, you know, we can fight it and it's doable. And uh, the good news here in China is that uh, COVID-19 pandemic here in China is uh, drawing to a close and the life is starting going back to normal. And uh, unfortunately, the rest of the world is now fighting against COVID and this reminds me of two months ago in China. And uh, stay healthy, take uh, uh, universal precautions and don't panic. Do not panic. I would advise again to look at the other videos that I made here. Take uh, oral vitamin C if you can and uh, I take every day, I take 5-10 grams. I, I myself take uh, 10 grams a day. Vitamin C has no side effects, whether oral no significant side effects, whether oral or IV. Thank you very much, and read the, uh, the text under will provide more information there. Bye-bye.